Hello friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today let's talk about the uh, fish that is commonly referred to as the Starry Night Cichlid. It was also referred to as a Blicheri, but more recently has been reclassified as a Paratilapia polleni. And uh, this is my cichlid profile number two. And this particular fish was provided to me by my friend James over at the Cichlid Shack in Tempe, Arizona. If you happen to visit the Cichlid Shack, be sure to use Shack Attack 10 for a 10% discount at checkout that applies to fish or food. I went to the Imperial Tropicals where they had a very simple, straightforward description of this fish. As you can see, he can get up to 12 inches. That's a real good sized fish. So eventually he will definitely have to be out of this 55 gallon. Uh, his uh, you know, temperature requirements and pH requirements are very similar to cichlids. He originates in the, uh, to African cichlids actually. He originates off the east coast of Africa from an island republic called Madagascar. And uh, like many islands, it has a, ver a very unique combination of species that are unique to that island. And um, does that apply to the local waters as well? I, I don't know, but this is certainly a very interesting and, uh, and again, to overuse the word unique, freshwater fish. He changes, uh, he changes color and uh, can fade depending where he's swimming in the tank, as, as was mentioned in the description by Imperial Tropicals, it is recommended that he be over a black substrate. In my tank, he's on a white substrate, and so when he swims swims around the middle of the tank, he will fade out quite a bit and go very light where the uh, where the dots are a little bit hard to make out on his body. But when he's up against the uh, background of the tank or uh, hanging out inside the, the cave that he's, uh, that he's adopted as his home, he will be very, very black and the spots will appear a bright, almost electric baby blue. So he's a very, very pretty fish. I'm very much looking forward to watching him put on some size. He doesn't back down from any other fish, but isn't what I would call overly aggressive, even though from time to time he will chase the, uh, the geophagus and uh, sort of assert some dominance over those particular fish. But for the most part, he just likes to kind of hang around and, uh, and defend the space that he's claimed over on the right side of the tank, even from the much bigger viejas that you see there. He tends to ignore the severums, the red shoulder severums and the golden severum that you see there, the red spotted severum. And uh, overall, I'm very, very pleased with this fish. He's actually quite a fun fish to have. You can see how light he gets there from time to time. When he comes out of his cave, he really, really looks black throughout the body. And with that, we will say goodbye to the starry night. And I thank you for tuning in.